everyone, it's Robotic Zombie. Welcome back to Criminal Minds. So, right now, we are trying to prove that Edward Lee was at the hospital last night and he wasn't responsible for the murder of Oscar Burns. But we need to find the nurse who's in charge of the database, and right now, we can't find her. Okay, something to search here. Ah, here we go. Hey, Edward Lee, 7 a.m. I wasn't exactly last night. Oh, wait, that's... It's blurry! Okay. Um, Edward was here all last night until we interrogated him today. The bar fight was at 11 p.m. yesterday and Edward came straight here after he was thrown out. He didn't have time to kill Oscar. I mean, if he didn't leave, he didn't take the spark gap either. Okay, hospital sign in. Take this back to Edward at the bar. So I remember we looked at that earlier with Reed, but he advised not to take that while the nurse was using it. So. Looks like you're innocent, which makes our best lead the girl. Who is she? To be honest, I don't really know her. I know her. She's my waitress. She keeps to herself a lot of the time. A lot of the time, so you might find something in her apartment upstairs. I think she keeps a key somewhere near the door. Oh, the guy said- Oh, there hey JJ. Well, the guy said that he was drunk and Drunk people do a lot of crazy things. Um, so that explains why he fought over a girl he didn't know. Oh, you got a key to this place, Rossi? Let's see. Oh, light bulb first. There we go. And search. Oh, there we go. Oh, NF. Okay. Could have at least had said what her name was. What are we Oh. Okay. Select matching pairs of identical keys until only one key remains. Okay. There we go. Okay, sparkles! JJ, I need you to continue the search for the for this waitress. There's something about that abandoned building near the hospital I need to investigate. Oh, you don't feel like searching through a lady's personal belongings? Waitress apartment key. Here we go. Whoa. Someone's already searched this room. Who? Why? Search. This place was ransacked and wrecked. She must have used this nurse uniform to sneak into the hospital. Burns was the perfect way for her to get one. Camera, gloves. Not sure what that is. Shell, hanger, necklace, teddy bear, cherries, kettle, a watch. So where are those question marks so we can unscramble the words? And there's the candle. Okay, we have a flashlight. There's a cell phone. Natalie Fox. Her phone is locked so we can't find out who she was working for until we find a password. Here's the waitress driver's license. Okay. Anything else? Let's see. Run a background check on the waitress. Okay. Okay.
let's go and back to the police station to run a background check. I have several questions, but I'm pretty sure they'll soon be answered. Oh man, this girl seems pretty unstable. She spent some time in a mental institution in Northern California. Seems like she's a conspiracy theorist with violently irrational trust issues. Okay. Once again, one-on-one -on -one between Garcia and JJ. Sounds like a recipe for terrorism. She probably came here to Seattle to try to start a new life, but couldn't shake the idea that everyone was against her. I searched her offenses. There's no record for bombings. More like child abuse of her son. Child services took him away. Maybe her motive was revenge against the government. In her mind, they seem like an evil force that steals kids from their parents. Garcia, was she also a victim of childhood abuse? Yes, she was abused as a child. How would you know? Abuse tends to pass down from generation to generation. It would also explain her mental instability. What's her name? Uh, there you said it right there. Her name is Natalie Fox. Natalie Fox, NF. Her initials match the ring the resident had on him. There we go. That was tricky. Okay. Summary. This girl seems pretty unstable, spent some time in a mental institution as a conspiracy theorist with violent trust issues. No record for bombings, more like child abuse of her son, child services took him away, maybe her motive was revenge against the government for taking her child. Her name is Natalie Fox N.F. Okay. This person call find Natalie Fox. Okay. Please hurry and figure this out. I'm so worried. I'm safe here in Quantico, but there's no way to know when the unsub will finish that bomb. You guys will, well, don't panic now. We need to stay focused. It'll be okay. How can you be sure? Okay, so now that we have her profile, let's see. So, still have to find. Okay, door. That's how you get out. Keep the gets down here because that's where you, how you usually exit a scene. Okay. That was my brother. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. I sure as hell didn't know she was crazy. Come to think of it, she is a little paranoid. She leaves her passwords hidden in different places so they're not all together. You might find one around here. And something sparkly on the bar. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Lock combination. Okay. Now we can get into the resident's locker. Poor guy, he had no idea he was just a pawn in our unsub's game. Okay, so... We will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!